Well guys, I didn't show disassemble on this because I was in a mad rush trying to get the parts ordered. Uh, what happened is the bearing went out on one axle bearing. It's actually the other one. I wanted to pull a, I wanted to pull the good side apart because uh, I didn't know what kind of condition that bearing and race was going to be in to whether I could get any numbers. Because usually it takes the seals and everything out and you can't read anything. But I go whole box full of parts and I did actually get all the numbers I think I needed to get, I hope. All these guys are in a a big hurry, you know, they're always in a big hurry. Everything's an emergency. So I was trying to get that truck in framed and I might have already mentioned it on the previous video, but um They sent me the wrong head. They sent me a head for a um, they sent me a head for a single over cam, overhead cam, and the invoice even says dual overhead cam on it, but it's a single. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to figure out this side out, but this is a dust seal, so you're trying to keep. So I know, I'm trying to remember how this all went. This actually goes inside that housing and it'll go over that seal in such of a manner like that. That's what seals the OD on that. So, let's figure this out because my brain isn't working very good right now. So if that goes out, that means this would have been on the narrow side in such of a manner as that, okay? Right there. Yeah, that would have been in there like that. So that means that this would have to, I mean, even if that was out, that would be turned like this, and that would go in like that. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it has to go like this right here. Okay, so just like the thing says, it says this goes out. Which means it's gonna slide down over this. Go on there like that. I just gotta clean that grease and shit off of there. Okay, let me clean this up. I'll get this cleaned up, both the ID of this and before I put that piece in, I got to get the bearing race in there. Let's see here. Let's go this side out. pretty well flush just like that now got to find the bearing that goes on that put the bearing on well I could not get it to start on the shaft without I got it in the oven right now I got the bearing race in there so now this little you know what the hell they call this but put some anaerobic sealer on the outside just in case it doesn't up at 100% perfect. It doesn't go in very tight. Come on now. I didn't think it did anyway, but it proved me wrong. Oh, come on now. I'm having a hell of a time here. You son of a bitch. Finally got her. I don't know this one here. I've put quite a few of these apart or took one. This one seems like it's just everything seems to be tighter on this one. No, I'm sure there's special drivers and all that shit for them. 
them other ones that I put together for them seem to run every year. So I guess I was gonna say I might flip it over. You know what I could do. I didn't want to get dirt and shit in it. It's what I could do. I could just keep some kind of progress going here. That side there, yeah, I mean, really, that side's done. I just gotta pick it up, put this side together, get the bearing on that shaft, and I can set this on there, but, ah! Whew. Heavy monster. Heavy. Clean this up real good. I told me the other day, he said, I work way too much, work too hard. And I told him, I said, well, what do you, well, what do you recommend I do? Well, go home, sit down, watch some TV. <laughs> and I said, Have, if you haven't noticed, TV's probably the biggest problem this country has, is everybody sits on their fucking ass watching TV. And they don't know how to do anything, they don't want to do anything. They're a bunch of brainwashed, dumb fucks, zombies. The government tells them to go out and do something, and it must be true, they heard it on TV. That damn TV, all I can say is programs. There's programs on TV. Well, the word program, does that mean anything to you? Tell a vision? Yeah. Keep watching that fucking TV. Okay. I got it hot in there long enough. Maybe it'll start on the shaft now. She's going now, okay. There it is, okay. Okay, well, let me roll this part out here on some flat ground and then uh, flip this upside down and put it on top of that. And actually not flip it upside down, it goes on just like it is. I gotta get a lifting eye here and here, pick her up straight. Okay. I wonder if I should put a little bit of oil or grease or something on the outside of that rubber seal so it'll slide in a little bit easier maybe, huh? Yeah, we'll crane that over on top of that and we'll go grab the planetary, we'll stick it in there. It will thread onto the end of this shaft right here. And we gotta put that other bearing on too, so. 
I still gotta boom way up and get a hold of this thing. than I was thinking it was going to be for this time of the year. I kind of hoping it'd cool down. Stay cooled down. it's pretty simple just slide it over the splines there are shims that, that go on the back side of this in the middle and then there's a, a bronze shim that goes on the outside diameter of the shaft that goes up against that bearing and then this is your lock to keep your bolt from backing off see it goes in these slots here and then it goes on the flats on the corners of the bolt Anyway, I got to clean this gasket material off here, and then uh, this thing's about ready to be put on.
Okay. Well, I guess I ought to make sure everything turns, huh? I'll get the yoke off. I guess I could go ahead and do that too on here. Put the pinion seal in it. Put the yoke back on it. Definitely gonna get some sealer on the OD, and that should be that should be what the hell's this here? It's been something they ordered because that doesn't belong with this setup. Where are those seals at? That should be the pinion seal, I think. Gotta be. Yeah. It's a double lip seal. Should be. Should be a hundred and five. See. It doesn't have the dimensions on it. I'm gonna put some sealer on that and tap it in there. Sucker's pretty heavy, man. Pretty good size rear end. I don't like that. I don't like that.
truck running. Somebody's painted this thing numerous times. Probably weigh about 100 pounds less. Get some paint off. set it on it I don't want to set the crane off or the, all the weight on that pin we need to get it out of there if we can if not we're gonna to have to improvise I want to set it on there and screw something up when I set it down okay that makes me feel more better and we'll just kind of stick these in here now, right there, right there. I'm not going to peel this gasket off, I'm going to reuse it.
did I just do with the bolt? Okay, there it is. Camera down here, maybe where a guy can see something. And on that. The bumper, and I thought, what the? Is that? Well guys, we'll see if my idea here works instead of doing like I did before and beating on it. I got a jack with a chain anchored off. I think my thought my thought is it'll just lift the housing up off of it. See what happens here. Oh well, that's so much easier when you use your brain. Instead of fighting that and beating on that son of a bitch for an hour. Okay, so I'm kind of almost. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm pressing that bearing off the shaft. So what can I do here? I gotta, I'm gonna have to stick something underneath the jack because the jack's gonna hit. I'm gonna have to find, I can always lengthen my chain out a little bit. That actually works just slicker than shit right there. Let me go find a pin or something. What about this? This is laying on the bumper of my truck. I need something longer than that. Hang on a minute. Okay, old wrist pin here. That right there. Let's see. I tried it a minute ago with two, you know, basically I looped the chain through the one link and back around. Of course, I, then I had two strands of chain over the, and this one strand kept falling off and it just wasn't working. 
so I had to change my method there so I had just basically just stuck a bolt through it that way I only had one strand across that and that seemed to work out pretty good I'm gonna remove my bolt and lengthen my chain out here like so Probably gonna interfere with the jack handle a little bit, but eh, maybe not too bad. Wonder, well, what about if I go like this? Something like that, huh? Center over that the jack handle here. I might run out of jack, though. That might be my problem. I might need to stick something, get this jacked up again and put something in there to wedge that up. I just basically gotta get the bearing pressed off the end of the shaft. I think I'm gonna run out of jack, but this jack's not a, it's a shorter, shorter jack, so it doesn't have a lot of stroke to it. I don't know, I might get her. She's coming. We're almost there. Not a jack, okay. We're so close. Now oh, we're there. We're off. That inside bearing is still pretty good looking bearing. Okay, I'm gonna use my straps to pick it up. I don't like using chain much if I don't have to. That worked out pretty damn slick, you know what? Amazing how when you get a little older, your body starts uh, hurting a little bit and you go, you know what, let's do this a different way. Let's use our brain instead of our back. Because the other ones I used to do all the time, I just took that big rubber hammer and I just beat on that bastard with that rubber mallet until the son bitch come out of there and just you look back at that now and you go well that was really freaking stupid
ahead and flip it over. I, well, I want to look at this other side. Look this bearing filled. Hopefully the house is not ruined. Didn't realize it was that bad. It's pretty bad. This is that seal guard looking thing that goes over the seal that's smashed down. It's supposed to be in that housing. There's no seal left really. That's just that seal outer retainer. Well, chewed it up pretty good. And it's on a harvester. And good luck trying to find this axle shaft that's got a good smooth surface. The only saving grace here is, is on these axles, and a lot of these John Deere axles you'll find, they'll have a grease circ out here. Everything from this area to here, there's no oil. The inner seal is up here, and the oil stays in the carrier. So Basically, all you're trying to do is really, you just got to keep it greased, you know. So, um, obviously, that was not happening with those guys. So, it's not really, really critical. Um, so, what we're going to have to do is kind of jerry-rig it. This is kind of one of those things they said no matter what you can just do whatever you can do to get it going i said okay so where the idea of this seal seals up against the axle we need to silicone it to fill in the to fill in the gaps Which will be fine for what this thing's doing. I'd be wor worried about it on being on a loader than on this thing. Okay. So maybe just put some on the seal itself too. My wife started, which I don't hardly ever watch TV. I was sitting there and she was watching that Jeffrey Dahmer thing on Netflix and I thought, what a sick son of a bitch that was. Never paid much attention. I remember when that whole deal happened and they caught that weird fucker and, and uh, <laughs> I was sitting there thinking they gave him like nine consecutive life sentences 
I'm thinking, what, what, what good does that do? You know, well, why did the taxpayers need to pay for this piece of shit to be alive for, you know, is he going to live nine consecutive lives? Then what fucking good does it do to give him nine consecutive life sentences? It's just absolutely stupid. They should have just hung the bastards, what they should have done. Really tight, so I think it'll be all right. Okay, um, the bearings in the oven. Next step is to get the welder out. <coughs> Weld this inner race and get this uh, inner race out of here. And it kind of chewed this up. We'll have to silicone all this. This is the grease circle where the grease comes in. We're gonna have to make sure that's clear before we put it back together. Make sure grease comes out of there. in there maybe or it might be a little overkill now should have raised that damn hook up out of my way instead of having to work around it all the time Asshole. I would say that this rear end was like this for quite some time. Look how the axle sagged and wore an elliptical hole in the housing. There's no guarantees on this thing if they want to put it back together. It needs a new housing. That's what it needs. It needs a new housing and a new axle shaft. To do it right so I guess I don't know this doesn't even look like it's square or not square but round anymore let's see if how this thing here fits on it I've got a feeling it's gonna be in there loosey-goosey That's not near as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest with you. Shit, we might be alright and might be able to save this thing. As long as we get a bearing out here to stay in there and support it, we should be alright.
take my grease gun, make sure this is clear. I put this bearing race was a little loose in there. It really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I put bearing mount. Uh, what is that? Loctite 680 all the way around it. It should be fine. But I gotta flip this thing over. Maybe I'll let her sit a little while, let my bearing mount. I don't think that's gonna, no, that ain't gonna move. That ain't gonna move and go nowhere. I had to drive it in there, it ain't gonna move. I don't think I'm worrying over nothing. Hey, welding gloves, bearings in the oven, look at that, nice when a plan comes together, put them on 250, 275 degrees, 30 minutes. And they just slide right on there. No beating on shit. And so, now, uh, I'm going to pre-lube that bearing a little bit. Get it wet. It's probably going to smoke and steam. But at least it'll, it'll have some oil of some kind in there. Now, the planetary, this browns shim goes on the inner race of the bearing. We're actually going to turn it, I think, like this. Okay, we got a bunch of shims that go on top of the shaft here, and we'll have to grease them up or something so they stay where they're supposed to. That's what I had to do on the last one anyway. Uh, I gotta 
clean this thing up. It got a little bit of shit on it, that planetary. Got all the shims around that center bolt. See if they don't fall off when I your fingers Send some bolts down. Well, oh, ring and pinion looks really good. No, no slop in the bearings here on the side bearings. So, uh, while well, I got this cover off, the easiest way to fill it full of oil is just uh, put her in like this, huh? See a plug right here. how far can't imagine you filling it to there another plug over here that's about where I think a guy needs to go is right around in there yeah that's where the level plug is right there Okay, 85-140, that's what it's supposed to be anyway, yep, 85-140 gear oil. Like molasses. It'll probably take the whole bucket. cavity to fill up yeah cause we gotta come clear up to here
Well, I'll put an anaerobic sealer on this, put this cover back on, and uh, that'll be pretty much it for this thing. So, anyway, another fun job.